A woman arrested after a high-speed crash that claimed the life one of her passenger one of her passengers last week was in court today. Jennifer Carvajal is facing numerous charges, including DUI manslaughter, and today was her first time in front of a Hillsborough County judge on these recent charges. But it is not the first time she's been involved in a DUI crash that claimed a life. Jeff Patterson joins us now live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse with more on the story. Jeff. Good evening, Josh and Stacy. Jennifer Carvajal has been in the hospital because of her own injuries from this crash. Today, she was in court. Now she's back in jail facing very serious charges. Good afternoon, Ms. Jennifer Carvajal. The hearing lasted only a few minutes as a judge reviewed his ruling on bail for Jennifer Carvajal. She's facing numerous charges related to this accident. A Florida Highway Patrol trooper says he clocked Carvajal speeding at 111 miles an hour down I-4. When he tried to pull her over, she suddenly veered right and became airborne. All of it captured on the highway patrolman's dash camera. Two passengers in her car were ejected. One later died, the other seriously injured. In 2014, Carvajal was behind the wheel when she ran a red light in Plant City and hit and killed 52-year-old Keith Davis. Carvajal was convicted of driving under the influence in that case and served time in prison. The whole thing is very sad. Linda Unfried is a co-founder of Mothers Against Drunk Driving in Hillsborough County. A 17-year-old drunk driver hit and killed her sister, and she says the Carvajal case brings up painful memories. The painful part of this case is it's identical to the defendant in my sister's case, the offender who actually had no driver's license and should not have been behind the wheel. The Florida Highway Patrol says Carvajal does not have a driver's license and should not have been driving when this crash happened. Jennifer Carvajal will not be driving anytime soon. The judge today refused to set bond in her violation of probation charge because she violated the patrol parole that she was given in 2015 after hitting and killing a man after running a red light in Plant City. Josh? Yeah, so she has a rap sheet here. So is there any chance that she'll get out of jail before the trial? Not according to her own attorney. He says it's highly unlikely she'll be getting out of jail because she violated her parole and the charges are very similar to the one she faced in that 2015 conviction. All right, Jeff Patterson reporting live for us in Tampa. Thanks, Jeff.